Scam, scam, scam. Purchasing non-local properties can be risky. Be aware of pitfalls that you may not have prepared for. A so-called guaranteed return in property investment may not be realized and properties sold off plan may not be completed. This is the advertisement that the Hong Kong Estate Agent Authority released last year about the risks of purchasing overseas properties or even properties in your country but far away from where you live. Think twice before you buy. If I can change my life, so can you. Subscribe to my channel and I show you how. My name is Fabrizio Cravero and this channel is all about property investment for the UK and overseas investors. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. We are going to create a community of investors that grows together. Overseas property sales need regulating. Prepare to lose everything in the property investment build on sand. Hong Kong investors scammed after investing in projects in UK by Daniel Jones Group. And the list goes on and on and on. Let me show you the four most popular scams in property investment and how you can easily avoid them. UK property investment has a huge potential, as I mentioned in this video here. Don't miss this opportunity. You can really create long-term wealth with the correct get rich slowly mentality that I always talk about. But as usual, whenever there's money to be made, there are some exploiters ready to take advantage and scam ignorant investors. I'm sorry to use the word ignorant. I don't mean to be rude, but I mean that ignore the most important two words when investing. Do diligence. I regularly buy properties in the UK, several houses per year, and I'm on a mission to educate property investors and honestly, investing in the UK is great because of the level of transparency. There's a huge amount of information that can be found online. You just need to know where to find it. I started by being kind of scammed. That's why I'm so passionate. I said kind of because I purchased an off-plan flat in London, not yet completed, from a big UK developer directly from a property exhibition here in Hong Kong organized by a well-known agency that I better don't mention. It was not a real scam. The building has been completed and the flat exists at least, but the figures were very much inflated. Higher projected return on investment, higher projected rent, higher projected future capital growth. All these could have been easily avoided with 10 minutes of desktop research. So, the first and most common scam is about inflated figures. Look at how you can easily check the real market prices. You type in Rymove or Zoopla the postcode where the property is located. Let's say this popular postcode in Canary Wharf, the financial district in London, E149ZF. Then here you select the property type. Let's say you are about to invest in a flat and please, Think twice before buying an off-plan flat. There are many other factors to consider when you invest in a leasehold property, such as ground rent, management, mortgage difficulties. Anyway, I already made a video about that and I'm not going to repeat myself. You can check it after this one. And then you extend a bit the search, let's say a quarter miles radius, but remember that the closer you check, the more accurate the data will be. And then I suggest you to include let agree properties because you want to check properties that have already been rented for that price. That's it. Now you search and you compare the rents of similar properties like the one you are interested in. Studio flat, one bedroom or two bedrooms and you can check how much they are renting it for. For real. And you can search for any property type in the UK and in any postcode. That's it. How long did it take me? One minute. It is very, very simple and in this way you can check straight away if the projected rent from the developer is accurate. This not only allows you to check the accurate numbers, but you can also spot straight away who's honest and who is not. And then, about the real purchase price, if you want to know if you are overpaying for the property, there are different ways you can check that, but one of those is the land registry search. 
I will leave the link, all those links in the description below. Look, from the land registry website, you input the postcode here. Let me just use the first three digits, E14. Then you can select the property type, which in our example was a flat. And with one click only, you can see all the transactions that happen in that postcode. For example, flat 33 in Forge Square change hands three times. There are many more checks you can do, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you a few. As you can see, it is really simple and transparent. Everything is there online for you to use. Sorry for the interruption. We get back to the video in a moment. You may be planned to invest in the UK, but you live far away from the area where you want to invest in, or you live overseas like me and you don't know how to do it. I prepared a free training where I show you how you too you can invest in the UK no matter where you live. Join me in this free training, there is a link in the description below and I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. And another scam that actually doesn't happen often, but when it does it leaves the investor really with nothing, it is the case of a developer usually promising high returns and eventually never delivering the hand product. Also, this can be prevented with a bit of due diligence on the developer as Leco suggested back in 2016-2017. These types of scams may happen to everyone, to overseas investors and UK citizens as well. Look, when Graham Firth saw an advert for an 8% return, he thought he had found a great deal. After the 54 years old finance director invested £58,500, he emerged that the building was far from complete and his money vanished. Wow, finance director. So don't trust your banker as well. Due diligence on banks. Anyway, this is maybe from another video. Let's continue. Danny Lowe from London also invested in the Pinnacle development in Liverpool. In 2016, he paid £55,000 and was told he would receive an annual return of 9% for five years but he says he received much lower level for the first year, after which payments ceased completely. Hong Kong-based Kevin Leung paid £62,000 for a unit in Daniel Jones Region 88 office block in Liverpool. Kevin was promised a guaranteed rental return, but hasn't received a single penny and his room still cannot be let. So, how can you check the developer history? There is the Company House Register website for that. Let's look at Mr. Bati Khalid Iqbal from the Daniel Jones Group that has cheated Kevin Leung and many other Hong Kong investors. In the description below, there is a link as well to the Company House Register. In here, you can simply type the name of the developer or the name of the company you are planning to work with. Let's say the Daniel Jones Group. You can see who is involved in the company. And let's see Mr. Batty companies. Wow, not bad, 57 companies. He's very active. And you can see that for each company, you can check the information, like the filing history, the people involved, etc. And if you notice some strange activities, I suggest you just move away and just look for another developer or another agent. So far, I show you scams related to off-plan properties. But as I said, I now regularly invest in second-hand properties and I believe that that's where you can really make money. Anyway, I buy old houses, possibly below market value, then I renovate them to increase the real value and then I rent them out. This is the business model that allows me to safely achieve high returns. I say safely because I check with whom I work with. But another series of scams you must pay attention to is when you are maybe asked to be part of a joint venture. Actually, a UK investor approached me and he offered me a deal that looked quite good on surface. But after I did my usual due diligence, I realized that actually the only real beneficiary will have been him. So be careful when you are asked to join a joint venture and also pay attention to the refer payment. And then, I usually use a project manager to follow the refurb of my properties. It won't make sense for me to fly to the UK for that. First, it will cost me too much, but more importantly, my time is valuable, so I always hire a project manager. But what may happen, 
some companies may ask for a large sum before they even start working. Let's say the refurb costs 20,000 pounds and I must to anticipate 10,000 pounds or even paying full. That for me is a sign of something strange going on. So I usually pay for the refurb by stages and that's what I suggest you to do as well. That said, yes, there are scams, but like in every industry, you must always be alert by eventually take action. You cannot just wait for the perfect deal from the perfect agent in the perfect world. Imperfect action is better than perfect inaction. But it's also true that proper preparation prevents poor performance. So, if you want to prepare yourself to achieve good and real returns with UK properties from anywhere in the world, can be the UK, but also from Hong Kong, Singapore or Europe, you can check the free sneak peek to my new course on how to safely invest in UK properties. You can check the link in the description below. So, those were my thoughts about the property investment scam, but what I'm interested in, what's your game plan, what's your strategy? Let me know in the comment below, check the free sneak peek of the property investment secret course, and if you gain value from this video, I really appreciate if you can press the like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, invest with knowledge, create financial freedom, and I'll see you in the next video.